We back on the cockpit. <laughs> oh, hey, here we go, Chewy. My co-pilot. Well, Chewy, Walter, whatever. But we back in the Millennium Falcon. This time for Solo, the Star Wars story. It's a good. We already know this movie had a problem from the beginning. And the master, Ron Howard, tried to fix it. Did it? I don't know. What do you think about Chewie? Oh, Walter. What? <laughs> I think he said it already. Our reviews coming up. Right? All right. We get off from the Millennium Falcon. We're back here. Chewie left inside of this man. Thank you, Walter, for coming back to do a review with me. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. And uh, we came from Solo, a Star Wars story. Okay, this movie, from what I said in the beginning, it had many problems in the beginning. And I had my low expectation because it had two directors, quit, fire, who knows the real story. And then Ron Howard came and tried to solve the problem. Say, solve the puzzle and reshot a lot of stuff. Use a light shot that was done and try to fix this project. I went with a very low expectation. What are the reasons? I'm a big fan of Han Solo. To me, Star Wars is great, but Han Solo is the regular guy. It's the, it's the, the regular guy, the you, just playing Star Wars. And you know, and uh, when this guy is gonna do the prequel, uh, kind of like, kinda like the underdog. The underdog, you know, it's just the regular, regular guy. guy. He's got no powers, like no Jedi powers. No, no nothing. It's just the regular yeah. guy who's a hassle. Who one is still here and just keep surviving. But uh, I was with very low expectation. I know this, I didn't read the reviews, but I know the critics, no most of the people like it. But forget the critics, it's us. Do we like it? Is the audience like it? Is the Star Wars? Are the geeks like it? And uh, before I say something else, I'm first. I'm gonna let it go. He's not a Star Wars fan. Really not. He's not a big one. This is the first Star Wars movie you do with me. You Was it? This, I think. Because I watched the other ones too with you. Like yeah. I watched Last Jedi. Well, I watched. Uh, I don't think. I don't think seven. we did a review together. We didn't do the review together. Because we, we the channels very new. So yeah. if you if you like it, just subscribe in the bottom. You see the little red tag, subscribe. I appreciate subscribe. it. Um, I'm growing worldwide. But thank you very much. And uh, well, let's see what happened with this, Walter. I give you the first angle here. Once again, I'm I'm not I'm not a Star Wars fan. Like I'm not all into the the whole story base and like I know the basics of it. I'm not too into. Uh, I'm not deep with the story. I thought it was fun. I thought it was entertaining. I thought I was going to be bored at first. I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be another Star Wars movie. Like, ah. You know, especially like after The Last Jedi. I, I was like, ah, Last Jedi. Like, whatever, you know. But, no, no comments. But, but you know. The key guy. But I actually ended up liking it uh, more than, honestly, like <laughs> more than the other Star Wars movies. I thought it was entertaining. I thought it was fun. I thought the action was dope. I mean, you know, I. I thought the comedy, like, you know, the chemistry between all the characters and then, like, the, the comedy that was in it, I thought it was, it was clever. Um, I don't I don't know about, you know, people that are fanatics of it. I don't know if you guys are going to like it, you know, because, like I said, I don't know if the story is going to make sense or whatever, you know, because I, I don't know any, like, that much about the Star Wars, uh, like, the storyline, you know. But uh, coming from a regular person, you know, not a huge fan, but just someone that does like it a bit, um, I, you enjoy I, it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay. I thought it was great. So. Wow. Great. Okay. Um, yeah. Did I think it was great? Here we go again. I'm the Star Wars geek. I don't call me a fanatic. Yeah, maybe. But, <laughs> and I, again, Han Solo is one of my favorite characters of this trilogy of night movies they're gonna make. And uh, I had a real problem with this movie, it's just because it's a prequel of Han Solo. But 
I like it more than what I thought I am going to like. I thought I was going to go and say, oh my god, so this is another spin-off of they would try to do it. This is not a spin-off, it's one of those kind of movies that Disney does to make money. And that's why they brought Ron Howard, because they already spent so much money. The budget is $250 million. $250 million. I mean, ouch. And because it, they were spending so much money and they were having so many problems with the director, the shot and the studio weren't happy. Ron Howard came and fixed it. And I think he did. He fixed the problem. We still, he had the credit as a director, but we don't know which shot he did and which shot he didn't do, because he used a lot of the other two that done it. So it says we're a little bit confused. It's okay, he had to edit and put everything together, and he did a good job. It's a great movie that like he say, as a Star Wars, I very doubt the Star Wars fanatics when I say it's a great movie. It's a good movie. It's a movie you're going to have a good time. Performance, very slow. Moments you didn't care at all. Really? But, yeah. Slow? Really? I, I thought it was slow. But, I what we saw in the previous, in the trailers, and what I was more interested when I went to see it, is how Chewie and Solo met. And their relationship, how they began the relationship. And it's so funny, the two together. The best part of the movie to me is when they are together. It's just that chemistry that you see in the other movies. Uh, you see it here, how the brother love that they have was created. And it was funny. I mean, I can't remember the name of the guy, elderly, weird last name. <laughs> Who plays solo? I have my problem with him and say, oh, how's he gonna do it? I think he did a good job. A lot of people were just killing him. Oh my god. Because you do an icon, you do Harrison Ford, and you have to now imitate Harrison Ford because you can create your own way. You can't do anything different. You have to do what Harrison Ford yeah. done it. In all the movies, and and I think that that's that's a big mistake. If you ask me, that's that's such a fan thing to do, such a fanboy, fan girl thing to do. It's like, you know, you can't obviously you can't be Harrison Ford. You can't. You know, you just can't. But you have to give people a chance. You know, that, that's how I feel. I yeah. felt like, like I'm a, I'm a, I have a total different opinion from from Frankie because I thought like the movie, the slow parts were actually pretty cool too. Like I didn't. I didn't have an issue with that. I thought the pacing was good and the action scenes were actually pretty and, good. And I, and I say that because we went to see it with a couple of friends and they were big Star Wars fanatics. And I asked, do you think it was part slow? And they think One of the them said way. yes. The yeah, other one yeah, said yeah, no. It was, it was fun. So fun. They liked it better than The Last Jedi. Same thing, same opinion I had. No, no, and no. The no. Two yeah, yeah. As, the same, as much as The Last Jedi. No, she said it was better. It was more entertaining. I disagree, and this is the two people that no disagreed way. were the two fa the the fanboys, like I said, the fanatics of Star Wars. So I mean, you you can never please the fans. In my opinion, you can never please the fans. There's always gonna be something. It's always so, gonna be something. This is a Star Wars. You're never gonna make people happy. I like a lot the Last Jedi. A lot of people have very different opinion of that for different reasons, and that's why we love movies. And that's what we all critics, because everybody has a different opinion on everything. My opinion doesn't have to be the right opinion. It's just my opinion. If you agree, mm -hmm. great. Give me a thumbs up. If you don't, you're crazy, dude. What the heck are you talking about? It? But that's why we love movies. It's just because we really, we really just like to have an opinion of everybody. But not everybody can have the same opinion. A lot of people thought we were talking on the car. Dunkirk was. One of the best movies in the world. If you see my review in the past, shoot me now. What the heck are you talking about? But here we go. You know, it's his opinions. Back to Star Wars. I think it was a, a fun movie. If you're a Star Wars fanatic, you have to see it. You want to see it. If you're not a Star Wars fanatic, but you like 
the relationship you see in, in the movies always with Chewie and Han Solo, this is your movie. Because they every time they are together, that's just super fun. Yeah. I mean it's a fun part of the movie. They especially the effects, of course they're gonna be great. Music, this is not John Williams music. I think the music was very low key. The music was very low. I don't know, I very low key. Uh, uh, yeah, because I, I didn't focus on the music too much. I didn't really. They didn't even. They didn't even play like a big moments. And sometimes, you know, Star Wars had that kind of moment that boom, boom, and the music take over. Yeah, they didn't have that. Nothing right, at all. Right, I mean, barely you hear the music yeah. in the background. In the I mean, background. really, you don't get anything. I think you hear you hear more the lasers and the bombs and the explosion than any kind of music. It's no, a moment. That you can say, oh wow, and you can see something's gonna happen because the muse is coming. We don't have that in this movie. This is a no no. And uh, but I think uh, Woody Henderson did a very good job. Donna, yeah, he did. Donna Glover, he's a great actor, and yeah. in that part that he did, he was great. Emilia Clark did what he did. I thought it was gonna be a little more with her. And we're not going to say the spoilers, but you're going to see something in the end that it come up on episode one. Ooh, that was dope. Yeah. We're not going to tell you awesome. what it is, but if you didn't see episode one, which I don't think is the first three, the second trilogy, the one, two, and three was whatever. But if you remember that movie and you're going to see this character, say, oh, what the heck? Maybe you want to watch it again, episode one. But see, like I said, as a writer for that, because because that's that that part is awesome. And if you like, like he said, if you watch the uh, episode one, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And don't no spoiler. We don't tell you what happened because in episode one, it's a lot of stuff happened. But uh, you will like it a lot. I think overall, it's a go or it's a don't go. In my opinion, it's a go. It's a go. It's a go. It's, a it's go. not a must go. No, it's, not a it's a go. Thing. It's an entertainment. It's worth it while you spend the money. It's cool to see it. If you start work, I don't think you're going to wait for me to tell you don't go because you're going to see it no matter what. Yeah, you're going to go. You're going to find Wars. Even if it, everybody says it's the worst movie of the year, you're still going to go and see yeah. it. But for people who are not big fanatic like him, uh, regular people who just, they're not much into in Star Wars, but they want to see this, it's a movie you're going to be worth it, the money. You'll have fun. It's you'll have you're fun. gonna have fun. You'll, you'll it's be, an entertaining you'll be movie. entertained. You'll be entertained. Yeah. Uh, and nobody did anything, you know, stories and that kind of stuff. It's just think of it as a, as an origin. Just think of it yeah. as an origin of uh, two of the two of, like the main characters of Star Wars. Like think of it like that. Like you're seeing the beginning. So yeah. technically, you don't need to watch the other movies to yeah. you know to like. Let me say, everybody knows the relationship, you know, between Han Solo and Chewbacca. And Chewbacca and. Yeah. That's the best part of the whole movie. And all the movie, when they are together, it's just like in every other movie. Those two together, it's yeah. always together. Chewy, the scenes awesome. with Donald Glover, though, man. Donald Glover was really good. They were pretty very, good. Very, very really good. good. He's a great actor, and Emilia Clarke did a good job. Yeah. Everybody done a great job. Uh, it's nothing to do with the acting. It's just, it, it was a good movie, and no more than enough. Yeah. Okay. So it's not, it's not a must go, it's, it's a go. It's go a go. Go have fun. Have fun. It's a good entertainment. You're going to work it. If you're in America and you want to use your movie pass, this is a chance. It's free. Who cares? If you're around the world, like my fans, you're going to enjoy it. This is a Star Wars. It's, just, it's very rare that you see a Star Wars bad, bad, bad movie. And this is no. This is a good entertainment. You make you laugh. It make you think, oh, I remember this part in this other movie. Oh, this related with that movie. You're going to enjoy it. And I said, go. And mm -hmm. Try. Check it Walter, out. thank you for coming. Enjoy. Thank you, thank thank you, thank you, you. to be chewy today. <laughs> My cup island. And if you like what I did, if you like what we did, just give us a thumbs up or subscribe with my face and Yoda on the bottom. Write us a comment. Write us a comment. I haven't that seen comments comment. from you guys at all. Come on, yeah, guys. Write a comment say, dude, Speak. what the heck are you watching? Let's have, let's have a conversation. Yeah, you I'll join. I'll something? join in. I'll say something. I'll throw yeah. a line down there. Right, see, thumbs up, thumbs down. But I don't see many comments, so just say the comment. Say, you crazy, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I just wonder why he's so weird. We and try to explain like, well, that. We try happened. to explain that. Don't I'm worry. I'm tell you my origins. I'm going to make a review about my origins. You know, like, oh, this is what happened. I was like, 
Yeah. No, but anyways. Um, <laughs> but yeah, drop us a comment, you know? Yeah. Just see what, how we doing. Do you like what we do? Exactly. I, I got a lot of thousands of views lately. And a lot of, most of the reviews I did together, we do great. And my father Avengers is like almost 1,700 views. Mommy. We are just, we're kicking. Mommy. And they pulled in a couple of days, I had like a four or 500 views. <sighs> so we're kicking. But if you like what we do, just give us a thumbs up and let us know. Exactly. And thank you for coming. I know that he doesn't say coming. Can we come in? Thank you for our, watching. To thank our house. Watching. Because to me, you are part of my house. You come into our house, to our studio. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us and watching. I wonder us. how long it took him to like make that up, honestly. How long he's been thinking about making something like that. Thank you for watching. I can us. never win with him. You guys know our review. He's always killing me, man. Just it's killing me. You guys but, have a great night. Honestly, enjoy. Go watch this Whatever movie. you are. Great night, yeah. good day, afternoon. You who knows exactly. what by the world. Support your theater, support your movies. Go and watch this movie. It's worth it. Until the next time. Ciao.